Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. It's nice to be here today. What type of smart are you? How do you best learn? Let's explore multiple intelligences while also celebrating today, which is Pi Day, March 14th, otherwise known as Pi Day. We're going to celebrate it by making a pie chart. In the early 1980s, Howard Gardner, a psychologist, came up with a theory that there are eight distinct types of intelligences, rather than the one type that IQ tests would lead us to believe. He called that the theory of multiple intelligences. Are you wondering what type you might be? Let's, you can follow along while we go through them one at a time. of intelligence is linguistic or verbal, otherwise known as word smart. People who are high in this type of intelligence learn best through words, whether it's verbal or written or even listening. They understand words. They like to talk, they like to listen, and they love to be heard. The next type of intelligence is logical or reasoning or otherwise known as math smart. As it sounds, these people learn best through problem solving, mathematics, numbers, they understand accounting and engineering. They are sedulous in their discoveries. These people need evidence, and they follow that evidence before they decide on a conclusion. The next type of smart is the naturalistic smart, otherwise known as nature smart. People who are high in this type of intelligence, they learn best by being in nature and by understanding nature. They understand the patterns that they see, whether it is from plants or animals or rock formations or cloud formations, whether they learn through nature. The next type is visual spatial, otherwise known as picture smart. These people learn best through pictures. Pictures like photographs or charts like this, diagrams. They think in three dimensions. They don't get lost if they have a map. They are the people who, if you throw a box of parts at them, they can put it together without reading the instructions. In fact, they prefer it that way. The next type of intelligence is kinesthetic or body smart. These people, you can talk to them all day and they may not learn a thing, but as soon as you have them move their body, they're right there with you. They learn best through big motions like in athletics or little tiny motions like in sewing or seamstress, you know, those type of motions. As soon as you have them do it, they understand it for life. The next type is rhythmic or music. These type of people learn best through rhythms and patterns in sounds. They don't just understand music, but also the voices, and they, this is where the, all the changes in voice, pitch, that they hear it all, and they understand it. They might not even be good at, at music themselves, but they get feelings and emotions and they remember through music. The next type is Interpersonal, otherwise known as people smart. These people are often extroverts. They learn best when they are with other people. They understand other people. They have lots of friends. They make new friends easily and they maintain those relationships for a lifetime because they understand how other people think. They understand them verbally and non-verbally. The last type is intrapersonal, otherwise known as self-smart. These people learn best through spending some time alone and just thinking. 
They understand themselves, they know their motivations, they know their goals, they know what they're good at, what they're bad at, and they understand themselves. And they can only truly think when they're alone thinking. And so we need to give them time to do that. Do you see yourself in here, anywhere? And remember that we all have each of these in us, but in varying degrees. The quizzes I sent on the handout can help you see what varying degrees you are. Do any of them surprise you? Because at least five of them surprise me. I considered them talents, not intelligences. And it really made me start wondering, how do people really learn? How do schools teach? And how do people really learn? I discovered that schools actually only teach to word and math smart. So what do they do with the people who learn in these other ways? They punish them. They drug them with drugs. And they tell them that they're not smart. But the thing is, they're the majority. They really are smart. We're all smart. These are all equal. Very valuable. And I don't like it when the majority doesn't think they're smart. So I'd like to leave you today with a quote by Albert Einstein, and it's actually his birthday today. That quote is, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its entire life believing that it is stupid. Thank you.